Hello again everyone, this is Carlos from computer-fix.co.uk and today I'm bringing you a tutorial for batch photo resizing. All the software involved is freeware and you can get it from the author's website. So you launch Google and type in the box high quality photo resizer and click enter. The link we're looking for is by naturepick.com and it's this one here high quality photo resizer. So we click on this link and we get this website. Okay the latest version at the time of recording is 5.02 and you can download it from this link here so you just click on the download link and you get the warning message at the bottom of the page uh, on other operating systems there might be a warning message in the center here this is just indicates that uh, the file is ready to be downloaded and for you to choose the location or to just click save and you'll be downloaded to your default location okay so I'm just going to click save and now the program is completed so I'm clicking run and the setup starts on the first setup screen just click next and here you can choose where you want your photo resizer to be installed in if you install in program files then just you don't have to do anything just leave it as standard and click next okay here you can create the shortcuts and you can rename them and click next in this section here you can create a desktop icon and create a quick launch icon I prefer just a desktop icon don't like to crowd my quick launch so I untick the bottom box and tick and leave the, third, the top box ticked and click next okay so this is the summary of everything that you've selected just click install it's a very very small program so you can uh, it will install in seconds um, at the installation completion just click finish so now that you've got the program installed you just need to run it okay so the first screen is where you add the files you want to resize all the photos that you want to resize I have set up a folder with some photos and that I'm going to be using for this demonstration um, I will do both a file and a folder so you can see how both are done okay so let's get right to it so you just need to click on add files my folder is in my pictures and it's this folder and I'm just going to add this photo open the photo and I'm going to click next on step 2 you will um, select where you want your output file to be saved to basically this is the file after conversion the, the final photo that you are going to send on an email or uh, just send a, a over IM um, I'm gonna leave it on my downloads you can choose whatever you like and click next okay, in this section you can select the size by pixel or by percentage and then there's some presets with some sizes that are commonly used you can just choose the size you like I normally preserve the aspect ratio of a photo but you don't have to if you untick this box then that means that you can on the bottom box it's uh, don't resize box you might think that this is f funny why, why would they put that here on a resizer program but it's not 
if you have a photo inside GIF or PNG and you want to change the, the output format to JPEG you click don't resize you can still adjust the JPEG quality you won't have the options to resize here but you can still change the JPEG quality or the format that you've got quality and then change to a different format with the options up here this means that your photo will not be resized but instead of being a PNG or a GIF you can change it say to a JPEG but we are resizing a photo so I'm going to untick this box and I'm going to click next here you have the option to add an effect to the photo this means that you can add say you can make a black and white photo you can add a ripple to the photo it, it, many many different effects I'm not going to choose any of them but you can if you like um, I'm just going to select no effect and leave it as standard so I'm gonna go next you can also preview or reset your changes once you're ready and you've made all the selections required click next now if you if you click the start button this start button your photo will start resizing so we're going to do just that a message appeared saying high quality photo resizer do you want to open the output directory we're going to see the final product so I'm going to select yes okay so this is the final product and as you can see the photo is now 90.7 kilobytes out of uh, if I'm not mistaken 3 meg the dimensions are 1024 by 768 which was what, what I inputted and the quality of the photo is still very good but a lot smaller and easier to send on an email okay so this completes this part of the tutorial I'm going to start a new task and this time I'm going to add a folder so the folder that I'm going to choose is the same folder that I used for this test but I'm going to choose the whole folder instead of just choosing an individual picture and here we go so all of the pictures inside of that folder are now here and ready to be converted we're going to click next I've explained to you about this before so any option that I explained before I'm just going to carry on because it's going to be exactly the same so next the same thing here click next and next and start resizing so now it's doing a batch resizing of all the photos within that folder this is something that you can just leave it if you've got many 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 photos to do you can just leave it doing and then come back to it and you'll have it all done to say send a big email with many many photos because photos are 90 kilobytes the and some emails are now uh, support now 25 megabytes you can send you know dozens of photos this way so this concludes my tutorial thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video